Oh, how I feel, how it feels to be me. Money in my pocket, but I still feel empty. Nowhere to go, nowhere to see, nowhere to get help. All these people are up in my DMs, and they can help. All these drugs in me, all these drugs and all this fentanyl Really got me finna ball up and go back to the ball Trying to ball, feeling like Kobe the way how he ball I stand tall, taller than everybody like I'm Jonas Or maybe Taco Fall, I hope I don't fall, I just wanna ball If I need somebody who can help me, I just need one call Tell God I hope he can see me Walking to the heaven gates, cause I feel like heaven gates I ain't got nobody who can help I debate, debating on whether I should stay or whether should I go. Crying on the inside, I just hope you should fucking know. I've been feeling like this for so long. I can't even let you know. Can't even let you know. Anyways, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man. And today, we got Cardi B gets cooked in a diss track. By my boy, Hello Yasmin yes, Extras. Like the video, make sure you go subscribe. And without that being said, let's start the video. What's poppin', y'all? It looks like we're cooking Damn. this year. Or actually, no, we're getting served the cooking this year because we kicked it off in the beginning of the year. This track between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion dropped his. That went number one. <clears throat> then we've got, oh, obviously, Kendrick Lamar and drake beef but in between that we also had a bunch of other beefs we had chris brown and quavo there are i feel like there was another one between january and that probably just escaping my mind but now we've got cardi b and bia stacking up so if you don't remember obviously you know who cardi b is if you don't remember bia she initially blew up with her song what was the song called? A uh, whole lot of money. And then Nicki mm. Minaj got on the remix to the whole lot of money song. This is maybe 2020, I would say. This is 2020. Blows the song up to another level. And from there, she had a really, really big song with Russ. I think that was Best on Earth. And then she had London with J. Cole. She's a good rapper. She's been doing her thing. Yet, for some reason, she has beef with Cardi. Moving can be hard enough. Beef with Cardi. Mm. with cardi b i came acquainted with this when i saw a post where cardi b rapped in a verse with glorilla and megan the stallion the song wanna be which i haven't listened to the song i just read the verse and in the verse she raps guess i'm a teacher since you want to sub me she did what had no idea thought she was on the shelf ikea hope she talk like that when i see her please don't nobody want to be a play on bia obviously and a lot of us were confused like yo what does this beef even come from and <laughs> cardi b did us the favor of hopping on IG Live and sitting down and explaining it for 15 minutes. And I would recommend none of you to watch this. I sat through it. I suffered so you didn't have to. I just took all the arrows. It's like the meme with the guy with his arms out. I'm, I'm just taking those arrows because there are some people that like we've got tall people in the world. We've got short people in the world. We've got really, really pale people, you know, all the way up north in the world. We've got really, really dark people near the equator. We've got really, really strong people, people that gain a lot of muscle. We've got people that are very, very skinny, very like unlikely to ever really grow strong. We've got people that are fast. We've got people that are slow and we've got people that are smart and we've got people that are dumb. And Cardi B, without a doubt, a hundred percent is a dunce. Just, oh my goodness. And that's not an insult. It's like I say, like, there are certain people that are tall. There are certain people that are short. Cardi B's strong suit is just not intelligence, intellect. She's not even of basic average intelligence. God damn, why are you going at her like that? I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. Damn. She's below. Maybe significantly below. Regardless, though, she made herself a very, very, very lucrative career. She is a hard worker when she wants to be. I always gave her props for putting her family and her firstborn child above chasing career when she already had enough money. So she has a certain value system that she subscribes to, which I have a lot of respect for. But she sat there and it was mind numbing, not because what Cardi B was saying was dumb in this live. I just wanted to get that out there. It's that I just didn't really care. So she's talking about all the context. She's talking about how Bia has been trying to get some proof that she cheated on her husband or she's been spreading this rumor. And it's really kind of like some catty stuff that mm. large, my largely male audience doesn't really care about. However, she gets into 
talking about, hey, me and Bia, I thought we were cool. We got on the phone and I recorded her. So she illegally, I guess, records Bia. I don't know what state they were in, but I think that's shysty if you record someone. However, I will say to Cardi B's defense, she knew that this person was antagonistic towards her and was trying to make her look bad, spreading rumors about her. So Cardi B, I believe she defensively recorded herself. Like, hey, let me record this conversation. And if she ever comes out, trying to like sun me or play me or disrespect me again, I'm going to present this as evidence. So I will not come at Cardi B for that. Although it is kind of shaky. I, that's just the perspective that I think Cardi B came from. If Bia was cool with her and they remained cool, although some people will say, oh, that's kind of holding it over her head. But Cardi B didn't say anything. And then Bia comes at her again. And I think they got on another phone call. I believe she recorded that one too. She's like, hey, I have all these receipts. She said that she would sue Bia if she alleged that she's like, oh, don't lie on my cat, not the cat animal. You guys know what I mean. Don't lie on my cat. And Bia follows up. Well, Bia drops the track. Thank God. This is where I thought things were, I wouldn't say kind of lame, because if Cardi B is going to try to quote unquote sue Bia for dropping a track and saying something, I think that's very different from the Tasha K situation where Tasha K is a media personality and she was outright reporting slander about cardi b so bia drops the track the track is called sue me which is already funny and the cover of the track is offset on his ig story saying my wife f the dude on me gang y'all know how i come so <laughs> the fact that cardi b says hey you know if you sleep on your side i bet yeah. you let me see if the Let's see the, the track good, because if it ain't, I'm be sad. I could never cheat because wherever <laughs> I am, Offset always gets me security and he always pays for my security, which is funny because she makes significantly more than Offset. She talks about that. She flexes that. So she says, oh, if anybody's coming in or out, they would know this and that. That wasn't always the case. So perhaps she cheated on him before this constant security thing was going on. Offset said it out of his own mouth. I don't know. I don't believe it to be, it's not that I don't believe it to be true. I don't care if it's true or not. So my brain isn't even thinking if this is true or not. I like the song by Bia. It wasn't, I like the diss actually. It wasn't a great song. Like Not Like Us, Family Matters, those are great songs. Mm. 6, 16 a.m., that's not a great song. Good diss though. So in this case, good diss, not a great song. It's cool, like you could listen to it and you're like, all right, this is hard, but Bia has way, way better songs. Towards the end of the song, she's also talking about, yeah, you know, I talked to my girls in the group chat, we don't even like your tattoos. Like, huh? Is this, I I'm guessing this is something for like the girlies, like they understand this and can relate to this more than I do because I thought that last part wasn't, wasn't the best. Other than that, Bia came in, she sees this opportunity because Cardi B did not have to sit there for 15 minutes talking about Bia. That does Bia a service. Bia's punching up. Cardi B can't help herself. She replies to randoms on the internet all the time and gets into beefs with them fan pages. No face, pa no name and no face fan pages. So she's not going to let Bia slide. So this benefits Bia a lot. I also think it's kind of <laughs> hard where she said that she used <laughs> surgery to look like Bia. And the writing thing is also hard I, I like the chorus the chorus is pretty good too but with this whole thing i like the this man i just i'm respecting it the odd thing though was the breakfast club just came out to the defense of cardi b i won't say for some reason it's obvious why they did it they have a long-standing relationship with cardi b cardi b is the biggest female rapper out right now behind Nicki minaj Although we haven't seen Cardi B go on an official tour yet, have we? Official arena tour. I think Megan Thee Stallion is on one now, but I haven't. I don't think she ever gonna go on one game. I'm being just completely honest with you. Yeah, I really don't. If she does, hey, <laughs> kudos to her. But if not, you kind of know why. Seen much mm. in that front. But they just called the song whack, trash. They were all hating on it. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? I'm, are my ears messed up? Are they hating? What's the, I want to get the sentiment. So to get the sentiment, I would like to ask all the, all the girly. So guys, I'm gonna need you to fall back. I'm gonna need you to fall back in the comment section today. I need the girls to give me their opinion. There, we got a couple of girls that watch, a couple of women that watch as well. I would like you to give me your opinion. What did you think about this song? Did you think it was good? Are you liking the fact that this beef is going on? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's kind of lame that Cardi B sues? So in this point in time, this critical juncture, if Cardi B sues now for this track, this is the lamest thing I've ever seen. 
because Drake is in a beef with Kendrick Lamar. Drake didn't have to take on Kendrick Lamar after like that. He does. Kendrick Lamar is talking about this dude being a certified kid diddler. He's mm -hmm, doing all of this, <laughs> saying Drake got a daughter, and you don't see Drake suing. Drake is taking it on the chin. He knew what he got himself into. He's been dropping music after that, which, well, dropping features after that one is somewhat of a parody. So we got to put respect on Drake's name for that. So if Drake can take that, Cardi, you can take some cheating accusations. Like, come on now. And this isn't a media personality. This is a rapper. So you can actually go back and forth with her. Media personality, Cardi B can't win in that situation. Rapper can't really win. Best case is to actually sue. But Bia, you got to rap against her. Come on, making fun of you and your ghostwriter. We know you've got writers. You've admitted it. You probably don't even make much of your own music whatsoever. And to me, Bia, I just look at Bia's discography. She's got two albums. Cardi B has one in six plus years. And what are we doing here? Who's the real rapper? And not to mention... Bia's got two albums in three years. Bia really just came into the scene with that song, a whole lot of money. And that was 2020. So she's dropped more albums than Cardi B has. She's more active in the game than Cardi B is. Yeah. Actually active. And she's talking about Cardi B scrapping albums. Those singles that Cardi B dropped aren't doing too hot either. So it is looking shaky for Cardi B. As a brand, as a personality, of course, she's still huge. But I like this beef. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you women think. Okay, so that's basically it. So that's the end of the video, y'all. But, um, yeah. Cardi, if you do that, mm, I don't know what to think about you. Because, like he said, Drake, Drake, you know, once, once Kendrick did his ass dirty on like that, instead of Drake going to sue, he, he tried to come back. It didn't work out for him. But he still, he still, you know, took it to the gym. So that's what you just got to do. Like how you be taking. No, let me stop. I ain't even going to start that. But um, let's go ahead and read these comments. Cardi is ruining rap. She records calls, wants to see what she's doing. I wouldn't say that. She doesn't. Be a one this round. We'll take Cardi to her site. <laughs> it was crazy how the Breakfast Club hated song out the gate. Clearly picking Cardi's side. Oh, God. Well, many ways. It's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yeah, 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 yeah.